Hello and welcome to part 2 on how to make this stylized coin material and substance designer. Last we left off we had just completed the foundations for the coins. Now we're going to move into creating some stylized cuts to blend with the coins. To begin we're going to start with waveform 1 and a gradient linear 1 and then we're going to blend those two together so that we're left with just the upper half of the waveform. Then we're going to mirror that, so then we've got high points on the top and bottom of the cut. Next is a transform 2D, we're just going to rotate that 90 degrees and make sure we turn off any tiling. And then we can push this into an FX map, we're going to use the FX map just to give us a quick uh, random tiling. We're going to use two quadrant nodes and then an iterate node. And then we're just going to decrease the pattern size a little bit to squish it down. And then we're going to create function on the offset. Now we want the offset to be completely random, so whatever values you want to use you can pick and choose. Uh, just make sure you're using the number float there because that pulls from the iteration node and that your outputs are again going through a randomize and then finally getting pushed into your vector. Um, once you do that, you'll see when you increase the iteration that it will start splattering this effect across. Just decreasing the size of the detail of the Transform 2D. And then finally we're going to put it into your non-uniform blur, warping it by itself. And finally then we can blend it in with a blend node. Just going to put it onto a subtract and subtract it from this coin here. Just doing another blend node here just to add the divots into this coin as well. And we want to make sure we use that mask and then set it to a min darken and then we'll lower that to a 0.66. Now we can move on to creating the diamond. So we're going to use two polygon shapes, polygon one and one's going to be a triangle and then the other one's going to be a five-sided shape. Then it's into the shape extruder to start sort of modeling the detail. So this is going to act as the top of the diamond. So as we sort of play around with the bevel intensity, you can sort of lightly see what would sort of make up the, the top of a diamond. And then we're going to blend this in with the triangle to give us a nice sort of sharp triangular bottom. Now since the lines aren't super prominent, we're going to put it into a normal map and then follow it up with a curvature smooth and then blend that with the original shape again with a multiplier. Finally we can put it into an auto levels and this is going to serve as our output and then we can look at tiling our coins. So when we come to tiling the coins we're going to use a series of tile randoms with the tile sampler starting us off with the tile random node. When you're using this node we want to make sure we uh, increase that scale a bit but when we do increase the scale to ensure that it blends nicely we want to change that blending mode to a max. Just put the offset onto something random, something around about 0.42 and then we're going to push that into our output so that we have something a bit nicer to look at. Um, so that's sort of tile 1 done, and then we're going to move into our second layering of tiling. So this time we're going to use the tile sampler. We're going to be doing 13 on the X and 14 on the Y. Just decrease that scale a little bit down to 1.03, increase the scale random. Give it a bit of a rotation, and then we're going to sort of control where the layer sits um, with the global opacity values. Then using T1 we're going to make a displacement map, and we're going to push that into our tile sampler. Then we're ready to blend these two together with a max lighten, putting it into the background of our output blend node there. Then we're just going to duplicate our tile sampler again, and this is going to create another layer, but the main purpose of doing it this way is we're going to use it with our diffuse. It makes separating out separate coins much easier, and also retains that procedural nature. 
Nothing too crazy going on with this one, just adjust things like the scale slightly in its position. I was wanting this one to be one of the top layers, so we're going to increase that global opacity all the way up. And then finally we're going to do another tile random. It's going to be our last one for tiling. Create a frame for this one, call it T3, move the previous blend node under it as well, and then we're going to make our level nodes and start plugging in each of the outputs of our tiled coins, and then we can start making our masks with those same tiles as well. So those just done with a histogram scan. Then we're using that mask with a height blend node, with the blend mode set to balanced height. Once everything's blended together, we're just going to be tweaking the level nodes to further distinguish the layers. And we just repeat this process with the other tile sampler as well. Then we're going to start setting up the diamond for tiling. This is going to be done with a tile sampler, so I'm going to start out with making the displacement map for it. So we're just using a histogram select, going into a bevel, and then straight into an ambient occlusion. Increase that depth and uh, play with the radius a little bit, and then just increase the normal intensity quite substantially. Um, and then we can use our tile sampler and then put in our output for our diamond. For this we're going to be going 10 and 10 and we're just going to increase the amount of pattern inputs as just like a quick way to mask out um, a lot of the diamonds. Same as the others, we're going to need a mask for this one so just use a histogram scan. Plug it into that one, and then we're going to use our blend node again, height blend. Put in our mask, and you should see the details will then just be blended uh, quite harshly onto it. So just adjust that height offset a little bit, bring it down until you can see uh, the diamonds fall, falling through nicely. Finish it up for auto levels in a non uniform blur to soften the edge. And then we're just going to put a levels at the end so that we can make further tweaks and adjustments as needed. Then I've got a white noise blend in of the multiplier set to 0 0.01. With the height now complete, we can move on to building the diffuse. So the setup for this is going to be mostly the same for all three. So for the gold and bronze, you start out with your normal, move into a curvature smooth, and then we're going to have two gradient maps, and we're going to be using the pick gradient option on just an image from Google. Uh, delete up as many of the inner values as you can. And since it's a stylized material, it's not really going to use them. We're going to use blur nodes just to further tweak the values a little bit, and then we're going to blend these two together with our mask. Repeat this process for the silver coins. And then make that one a new output so that we can view it in the viewer. Then move into the diamond itself, so it's going to be a similar setup. Normal map, curvature smooth, aim and occlusion.
into a gradient map and then another gradient map which is just the original curvature and then another one on top of that one as well which is going to get blended with our first well, sorry our second gradient map so blend those two together as a multiply put a mask in just so then it's only coloring the parts of the diamond that we want and then put it into another blend use the mask again but this time we're going to blend it with just the ambient occlusion then we can add the diamond coloring on top of the coins ensuring we're using that same mask so then it only affects the diamonds and then we can look at duplicating our base color and turn it into an emissive map so just give it a identify emissive label it emissive and then set the usage to emissive uh, the output for this one isn't going to be the same as the base color we're going to be using the ambient occlusion but mixing it with an HSL node to control the color and then we're just going to adjust that to a bit more of a purple hue and then that is our emissive sorted and with that that brings today's video to a close if you'd like to support the channel please leave a like subscribe and I hope you have a lovely day